So you wanna shoot a dark scene and you want the best results. I'm Nate and this is Red Tech. All right, let's talk about it. Let's talk about your various exposure tools. Let's talk about when to target a specific ISO. Let's talk about striking a balance when faced with exposure extremes. So you've got two types of exposure tools built into the camera to instill confidence when making challenging exposure decisions. These two types of tools are either RAW or IRE based. Let's start with RAW. These exposure tools reference your raw data and are not affected by any metadata adjustments like say ISO or white balance. These are the only tools that truly indicate whether an image has clipped or fallen too deep into the shadows. These include your goalpost, traffic lights, exposure check, and geoscope. Now the remaining tools, including the histogram, uh, video check, and zebras, these are all IRE based. And what does this mean? Well, this means they simply represent the image on screen. They account for all the look parameters and how the image is being displayed for monitoring. Just because it looks clipped doesn't necessarily mean that it is. Given your awareness for protecting for raw, uh, you may be able to effortlessly pull information out of the image. Okay, so my personal method is I use the traffic lights first, which indicate that something is clipping on the image. And then I reference my exposure check to see where on the image it's actually happening. Yes, ISO is metadata and you have the freedom to shove it around however you'd like. However, you should target an ISO value based on your current scene to achieve an ideal exposure balance. This is giving you the most flexibility with a shot and you'll thank yourself later. Okay, when working in a lower contrast scene, much like this, you should consider erroring on the side of a brighter exposure. Then target a lower ISO. Because you aren't competing for highlight protection, you'll only benefit with a cleaner noise floor by giving the sensor more light. This will give you that dark look you're aiming for, but also give you the freedom to lift any region without introducing unwarranted noise, like this. Okay, open your aperture, add light. You guys know how to light a scene. You can lift 800 ISO a whole stop and still only sit at 1600, which is totally acceptable. If you set your lights and choose a stop while targeting 2000 ISO, you vastly limited the amount of headroom you have in your image. Are you feeling claustrophobic? Remember, you can always darken an image guilt-free. Lifting your exposure will naturally introduce noise past a certain point. If you haven't already been blown away by IPP2, let's just quickly call out the improved shadow detail you'll benefit from in our new image processing pipeline, especially when you're forced into a situation where you have little control over the lighting. Guys? Dudes? Okay.